Hey, George the Tech here. Somebody just asked me, how do I take that effects rack you made for me in Adobe Audition and make that have a keyboard shortcut so I can just quickly apply it to my audio? Great question, and you use favorites for that. And what we want to do is to make the favorite extra, extra useful is we're going to add normalizing as part of your favorite because we always normalize before we apply the rack. So we'll go to favorites from the menu, and we're going to start recording a favorite at the bottom. Just click OK when you see this message. Now it's going to record any action we take, not moving the mouse, but just whatever we choose in the menus. So first thing we want to have in our favorite is a, another favorite, which is normalized to minus 3 dB. That's step one. Step two in the favorite will be whatever rack you want to apply to that audio. I'm just going to pick one at random here. Choose your rack. Click Apply, and that's the end of that favorite sequence. So we go to Favorites, Stop, Recording, Favorite, give it a name. And here's a hack. If you want that favorite to be the very top one on the list, put a little period in front of it. That will make it alphabetically at the top. And now we have a favorite. So this is what we're going to map a keyboard shortcut to. So now we need to go to our keyboard shortcuts in the edit menu. Open that up. And the easiest way I think to do it is to start typing the name of the favorite you just made. So mine is called new favorite. There it is. You're going to click on the gray bar under the word shortcut. It's a weird design, but believe it or not, there actually is a place to click here. You can't tell. Oh, and there it is. And now you can give it a, a keyboard shortcut of a single key. You can make it shift something, command, whatever you want to do. But just give it a new key. If that key is already used for something, it'll, it'll warn you. So for me, I never use, for example, oh, actually there's a bunch of empty keys. Let's just make it number two. So when I hit two and click OK, now the number two, in fact, you'll see on the display of the keyboard is called new favorite. Now, number two is new favorite. Click OK. And anytime I want to call up that favorite and do that action, I just hit number two. Boom. See how quick that is? It's a beautiful thing. And it really is one of the power features of Adobe Audition that sends it, puts it ahead of a lot of other applications. It really does make things more efficient. So, but just be careful. It's so easy to do that it's also easy to do it a second time and a third time. And each time you do it, the audio will get progressively louder and weirder. So be careful not to overdo your processing with the favorites tool. Make sure you're always starting from a raw file. Um, edited, of course, but raw. And then hit the number of two to apply. Okay, listen to the audio, use your ears, make sure it sounds the way it's supposed to sound. Anyway, I hope that was helpful. Thanks for listening. George the Tech.